Hi guys, my name is Gregory Brown from the Outdoor Adventure Club, and today I'm going to be showing you guys an RC called the Cloud Forest RC. It's from U Control, and I got it from Brookstone, about $50, okay? Well, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fly it, the materials that came in, and how um, the box and everything, and all prepared, and all this other stuff. So, let's begin. First thing, here go the box, okay? This go 80 foot in range. Um, it flies for about 5 to 7 minutes under under four thrust and it charge about to 20 to 30 minutes okay so let's open the box and see what it came with uh, when you open up the box you're gonna see two silver silver box like this this is nothing it's just to keep it balanced and even well here go the helicopter right here Okay, we're gonna get to that later. I'm gonna show you guys more about it. But let me say, um, this is a three channel RC helicopter. Um, this is for outdoor, maybe indoor flying. Okay, it's pretty good at flying, but it's also fast. I recommend this for people who are kind of in between, like, um, who's a little bit who has some skills and able to control this kind of helicopter. Um, what else they got? They go to control. Okay. Um, with a, it has a built-in charger, and it comes with a repair kit. Four main, four blades, two main blades, and two um secondary blades. A balancer, some bolts, screws, and a tow um tow motor. Okay. Put this to the side. Um. Well, here go the remote control. Okay, you know I got the thrust and and all the other stuff. Well, let me teach you guys how to um use this real quick. Okay, well right here, as you see, this is the thrust. Okay, this is to bring the thrust higher. This is to cut the thrust or make it lower. Here, it's like in a um hovering level right here. Now, if you want to go, if you want your helicopter to go forward, you bring this up backward. Bring this down clockwise, you know, turn it, turn it um to the left, kind of clockwise, turn it to the right. And on the top, it has the light button, and the other one is just nothing, it's just to um keep something in the area or whatever, like decoration. Um, here go the charger, okay. Um and this also got terms, which means if your helicopter turn out of control, either way, let's say if it turns clockwise out of control, then you're going to hit the left turn. If it turns counterclockwise a little too much, you want to turn the turn on to the um, right. And um, let's see. Here you go the piece. As I was talking about, here go the blades. Okay. And the screw. And the balancer. And all the bolts and all this other stuff. I'm not going to take it out because it's going to be too much. Now let's get to a helicopter and then I'm going to teach you guys how to fly. Well, you go to a helicopter. Okay. As you see, this is this is the blades. Okay. You go to the front. Tow rotor. And one thing I gotta say I like about this helicopter is fly pretty good. And on the bottom, the landing, it actually it actually bounces. So if you land and you drop it, it's gonna bounce. Sometimes it don't even do that. Um, what else? And it has a lot of um LED lights. Uh, let me show you guys in a few seconds. Well, if you want, I'm about to teach you guys. I'm about to show you guys how to start it up. First thing you want to do, you want to take your remote control and you want to turn it on. You don't have to worry about the helicopter because when you buy it, it's really um, already charged. Now, look on the bottom, you're going to see an off and on switch. Turn it on. Now, just wait. As you can see, there's a red blinking light. When that just hits solid, that means it's ready to fly. Let's give it a couple seconds. Now, it's ready to fly. Uh, the main thing you want to test is the tail rotor first. Okay. Give me a second. Actually, test the thrust. My bad. That's the main thing you need to check. Do it lightly. Mm 
Okay. Now, tail rotor. That's forward. That's backward. Um, as you see, right here, this don't actually go. Um, it's just, I guess, just random lights or something. It might actually glow. I don't know. But, as I just said, it probably don't glow. It's just decoration or whatever. Uh, so, let's put that to the side. Now, let's turn on the LED lights. As you see, here go all the LED lights. Okay. Um, let me see how much is there. It's one, two, three, four, five. There's five um, LED lights. Okay, all different colors. And it's pretty nice. Now, um, let me teach you guys how to fly. When you're starting, right, you want to try going on to a um, normal surface and flat surface and everything. Don't take it outside right away. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to make it fly, but not too high. Like, it's going to hit the ceiling ever. You want to keep it in the middle center hovering. Um, one problem is if you're too close, it's going to start coming toward you for some reason. I don't know why. Well, let's check one more time. Okay, now it's ready to fly. Okay, now let me fix this real quick. So at least you guys are able to see the helicopter fly. Test flight number two. Okay, it's coming down. Um, one more thing I want to teach you guys. I want to teach you guys how to um what. I'm about to teach you guys if your helicopter crash, what to do and what to not do. First thing you want to do, I'm about to turn this off, not waste any batteries. First thing you want to do, like let's say if you hit the wall or hit the ceiling, it's going to turn and twirl and all this other stuff. You need to cut your arm thrust right away, okay? Don't keep it on or nothing because when it hits the ground and your thrust is still on, it's going to hit the ground. Sometimes your blade is going to mess up or your holder is going to completely fly or something so if it hit the ground cut the thrust also and it's going to stop um one more trick I'm going to teach you guys uh let's say if your helicopter is like this right um you are able to um actually make your helicopter stand up okay this is how when you put the thrust up not a lot but like medium it's, it's going to move the, the move the blade up and it's going to land. So let's try it and see does it work. One last time. Ah. It's not working. But it normally always work when I do it. Um, I forgot. The helicopter is really strong or whatever so like if it hit the wall or something it's not gonna mess up or nothing like that only time it might mess up is if you slam it like if you flying it outside the street and it crashes straight down to the concrete it's gonna mess up well let's fly it and see what happened before my time run out Okay, this is four. Backward. Well, crash. Um, that's really it. Let me just do it real quick before my time run out. Okay, you guys. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching my videos and much more. Remember, I'm Gargi Brown, and peace.